Hi everyone, Lauren Souders here, and today we're going to talk about a short cognitive screener that any healthcare professional can use. So what I'm going to talk about today is something that I've always felt is very important and sometimes overlooked, and that is when something happens to the brain, doesn't matter if it's a concussion, a TIA, and someone seems to be completely recovered, it doesn't matter. If something happens to the brain, you need to be assessing cognition. What is a perfect screener for cognition? The short blessed test. I love the short blessed test. It is 95% sensitive in picking up on an impairment cognitively. And so it may not give us the best information right off that bat, but it will definitely give us an idea if something were to appear, where should we further evaluate? So Anytime something happens neurologically with the brain, it is always safe to run a cognitive test. And short blessed test being that, it takes about five minutes or less and is six questions. Of the six questions, they're going to look at anything from orientation. Um, they're going to also be looking at immediate recall, delayed recall, and sequencing. And those are some, again, great areas of executive functioning that if something were to appear, we would know where to further evaluate. So, on the scoring of the short blessed, once you tally up your points, there are weighting factors that give you your sum total. Your totals are going to be from 0 to 28, 28 being not so good, and 0 being perfect. 0 to 4 means normal cognition, 5 to 9 definitely needs some evaluation for possible dementias or Alzheimer's. If you are above that, 10 and more, you definitely need to be evaluating, and I would be sending them for neuropsych if they haven't had it already. So that in a nutshell is the short blessed test. I want you to start practicing it if you can and just get into the habit of always assessing because you know there are those patients that trick us. They seem really well. You feel like you don't even have to talk about cognition, but you never know. So cognition affects carryover and training from rehab, so it's very important to assess. That is all. I'll put the link below. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. And as always, I got this under five minutes for you, way under five minutes for you. So I hope this was helpful and we will talk again soon. As always, have a good one. Bye, guys.